Shalom, first and foremost, as always, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, or God the Dutch. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great wisdom. Shalom to all the elect who stand throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the word of truth and in sincerity. All right, fighting to overcome. You know, we are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, uh, spoken of in the scriptures, all these scriptures, you know, uh, prophesying the downfall of America, also known as Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, Egypt, Ro uh, the Roman Empire reborn, you know, this is a house of many names, you know. You know, there's a scripture that talks about uh, Babylon having a, a, you know, a cup full of blasphemy and, and, and you know, it was that Revelation like 18, 17, or 18. Yeah, we'll start with that, man. All right. This is Revelation. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 18. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right, because all these nations uh, made a league with Esau, man. You know, we go into Psalms 83, it talks about how all these nations made a league uh, with the devil. You know, and so they're waxing rich with the abundance of her delicacies, all right, because America um, is a nation of excess, you know, and they built this uh, country based on convenience and being comfortable, you know, so uh, all these other nations are basically partaking in the same madness which is pretty much built upon slave labor, you know. Um, this country was taken over and all the resources were stolen. Um, and Esau's conquest throughout the world has basically done uh, that very same thing, pillaging and plundering and stealing resources, you know, making raw deals with other nations, basically getting them to sell out and uh, be a part of the, uh, the Edomite system, you know, the beast system, so that they can get these different benefits, which is, um, you know, we shit in clean water. Just think about that. You know, you have uh, countries in the world that don't even have clean water, bro. You know, they don't have plumbing, they don't have, uh, uh, you know, the different systems in place to where everything's on an electrical grid and everyone's connected with each other and we all got vehicles and, you know, there's, a, there's food on every corner, you know, there's drink on every corner, you know, there's a surplus of, sh uh, of shopping you can do, clothes, and, you know, this is that, that, that city, man, the great whore, you know? It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Right, which what was that? To do away with the Israelites, man, and rule the world themselves. You know, that's pretty much how uh, Esau bamboozled these nations. He's like, look, well, you can read about it, uh, you know, in uh, uh, what's the book that goes into Mordecai and Haman? Ezra. Ezra? Or Esther? Yeah, yeah, you can read about it there. You know, Esau is Haman, bro. And he, what was he trying to do? He was trying to exterminate the Israelites. And what was his whole plan to do it? was to turn all nations against Israel, saying that these are rebellious and evil people, 
you know, that all they do is, uh, uh, you know, commit insurrections and, and defy kings, and, you know, all this, basically uh, demonizing the Israelites, you know, to where, um, to the point where they made a, de a decree that they would slaughter all, all of Israel, you know? That's basically, you know, he's always trying to do the same thing today, you know? It hasn't changed, you know? That's why, um, you know, what he's doing right now in the media and everything is demonizing Jake, man. You know, turning Jake into a political figure, you know? The face of leftism. You know? That's why Joe Biden said if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what is the what is that whole, you know, left leftist that whole uh you know political ideology? It's all about LGBT, you know, homosexuality, about you know, sexualizing kids, you know, do as thou wilt, you know. Uh, uh, a man could be a woman, a woman could be a man, all that tranny shit, you know? That's all that stuff that they're pushing through that, you know, the left, uh, the, the left hand, or the on the political side of it, they call it the left. And then you have the right wing, and what are they? They're all like e e evangelical Christians and shit like that, you know, following Donald Trump or whatever. And it's mostly Edomites on, that, on the right. Shit, and the left, you know, but they paint it as if, uh, you know, they want Jake to be grouped in with them. You know, they want Jake to be the face of the face, man. You know, that's why they have like sanctuary cities and all this stuff, you know, so that they could, you know, here it is, they're basically telling Issachar, hey, come through, we'll, we'll, we'll provide you, uh, safe housing while at the same time demonizing them saying that it's an invasion you know what I mean because the the, the the damn left and the right is two sides of the same coin man you know they're just playing they're playing they're just setting you up you know it's the old one too you know have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I see a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Right, because through the truth, he, you know, Esau is being exposed. So far, white man is being exposed as the Edomites, man. You know, and this thing is going to be noised abroad throughout the earth. It is being noised abroad throughout the earth, but the Lord is going to turn it up, man. The Lord is going to make it to where, you know, all ears are going to hear this message. And, and you know, there's going to be a great awakening you know, uh, of people that's gonna understand, man, and it's gonna see, you know, what's real, because here it is, Esau's been lying the whole time. Because look at Esther, you know, that book, what happened? They they pulled out the uh, the history books and they they found out that Israel was a, a, a glorious people. They were like, wait a minute, you know, great, you know, great and wise kings have came from this nation, man. You know, they ruled the world at one point. You know, there was a there was a time of world peace during the Israelites' reign, you know? And what happened, Haman got himself hung, you know? He got hung on the same stocks he was trying to uh, hang Mordecai, and then the decree went out that everybody that thought to slaughter Israel, that it was, that it was green light for Israel to slaughter them, bro. 
So they ended up getting uh, put to death. It said many, it said many people converted, uh, <laughs> converted to uh, you know being an Israelite during that time out of fear, man. You know. So um, that's the same thing going on today. Esau's doing the same thing. It's just we're bringing this information back out. You know because. Christians, they don't believe in the Bible, bro. They believe in Christianity, which is a cult. Christianity is a cult, man. They don't believe in the Bible. And we know that because when you read the Bible to them and break it down, they get offended. Because they've been told something different. See, we're bringing out the history. And, and all, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. God, this is uh, the book of Esther, chapter 16. In verse 15, but we find that the Jews, whom this wicked, whom this wicked wretch had delivered to utter destruction, are no evil doers, but live by most just laws. Hey, see, and that's why the elect are going to be justified in the last days, bro, because this is going to happen again. Except this time, it, the Lord is redeeming us you know first and foremost through his sacrifice through his blood but we're working uh, towards our salvation by bettering ourselves and being and, and trying to be the embodiment of these righteous people and yeah i mean you got two-thirds of jake that are killing each other and, and being wicked as all hell you know but that's why it says in the scriptures it's only those that's written in the book of life that's going to be saved man it's only those that's going to uh, uh, take heed to, to the scriptures, you know, and conform themselves to the ways you held by some you you know, to be blamed. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse... Verse 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh Bashim Yabashai had taken an effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Yes. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're not all Israel which are of So just because they're Israelite doesn't mean the Lord is going to accept you, man. Right. You know, because there's Israelites that just don't get it, bro. They just don't get it. They may know that they're Israelites. But they don't understand what that means. They don't understand that that comes with a price, man. You know, you can't just keep doing whatever you want to do. You have to actually put some effort, you know, into being righteous, man. Yeah, yeah, like the scriptures say, you were bought with a price, which was Yahweh Shai's blood. So you're not conforming to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're, you're, not, you're not an actual Israelite on this side. You know, uh, as the scripture also says, within the second and third, first and second admonition, you know, uh, that if a man doesn't receive it, you bring him to the elders, you bring him to the brothers, to the, to the church. And if he still can't receive it, you, you, you write him off as a heathen, you know? So two thirds of our people, they are not, they're not all Israelites. They're not Israelites. They're not Israelites of, yeah, well, by Shimmy, I was shy because look, Esau, the so called white man, knows who we are. You have them damn Amalekites come all the way from Israel to go meet up with the brother in South Carolina to question him, to ask him, well, where do we, where do we line up? Like, who do we sign with? Are we signing with Hamas? Are we signing with uh, 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 Amalek? And that's the spirit, because look. Palestinian flag. Uh, you know, we don't, and the brother was like, we don't side with neither of them. Okay. And using the scriptures. But to Esau, he's gonna be like, look, you got you guys uh you guys uh call yourselves Israelites, those are Israelites, look at the wicked. That's true. Two thirds of our people are wicked and they're gonna die.
gotta end their sins. You know, that's why the scripture says they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Just because somebody's a so-called black Hispanic or Native American doesn't mean they're part of the elect. Doesn't mean that they they are uh, you know uh, they don't believe in you. They don't believe in you. Bush me outside. They're not of this truth. Okay, those are uh, those are Negroes. Those are Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics. We don't actually go by those by words and terms. You know, we we go by Israelites. That's what we are. You know, that's what we believe. Esau is not gonna, not gonna uh, come and be like, oh well, uh, you guys are all, uh, all believe the same thing, no, you know, because even within Israel, you got other groups that believe in other things, you know. You got you got certain men that believe uh, 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 King David is still on the earth, you know. You got other guys that believe that you can, uh, uh, you can. Uh, uh, have, have sex to a woman and we're in a perverse place. You know, we all believe in different things. You know, but there's only one truth. Okay? Which is passed down to the elders and the of Great Millstone. And then it was passed down to us. You know? We don't agree with certain dudes on, on these ill, ill matters. You know? Or look at the thing that uh, Nate's coming out with right now. He's saying after a thousand years, uh, uh, Esau's going to come back into power. Yeah, the guy. Take us down again. The guy had no understanding. Daniel's 9 tells you when, when, when our kingdom is established, it's going to be perpetual. It's going to be permanent. Where in the scriptures do you guys find these things, man? How, how is Esau going to contest the immortal gods? That doesn't make any sense. Right. Right. How is Esau going to be in the lowest state, you know, known to humanity, and, and fight against supreme beings? They can't die anymore. They can't even die. They could literally, uh, you know, probably form new planets and, and solar systems and stars, you know, <laughs> like, like honestly, you know, that are going to be able to manipulate the elements. And travel through space and, and time, bro, and dimensions. How is Esau? <laughs> how is Esau gonna rise up against that? That's impossible, man. That doesn't even make any sense. The Lord is gonna give power to the Israelites the way that He gave power to His son, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, it, what, it, it's a joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, bro. And what power? What the Lord gave him all power, bro. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means we're gonna have power. We're gonna have superpower, man. Yeah. Power over spirits. We're gonna we're gonna have authority, man. Yeah. Do you know what I said? He said all authority on heaven and earth is mine. Right. If you join heirs with that, what does that mean? You got that authority. This is us. Uh, First Corinthians 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality right because we're, we're we're in a dead state here man all right we're we're messed up our minds are messed up our bodies are messed up man our situation is messed up we're in prison we're in hell bro the devil's ruling the world you know so it says the dead is going to be raised incorruptible man you know so that's talking about us no more issues no more issues, man. Yeah. Receiving new body, man. New body. All right. All oh, an entirely new, you know, huge. A new mind, bro. It's a new heart, man. You gonna have a whole new mind, man. You ain't gonna be the same. You gonna be supreme, bro. You know. 
is it wisdom of Solomon where it says um, he is clean, clean, clean contrary to us, you know? You know, that's why he, Jacob and Esau was fighting in the womb, you know? And then uh, Jacob and Esau's mother was even like, Hey, if I'm gonna give, if I'm gonna give birth, why am I having these pains? Why, why is, you know, why is there so much uh, dis-ease going on with them? You know, and that's it tells you in the scriptures that the brothers they struggled with, they struggled together with each other. They was fighting, you know, since they were since they were actually in their mother's stomach, man. They was fighting, bro. And, and you go back, you know, to the time of uh, Cain and Abel. Why'd he do that? Because Abel was righteous and Cain was wicked. Cain knew what to do. But he didn't do it. Show you, show you the spirit, man. destruction are no evildoers but live by most just laws and that they be the children of the most high and most mighty living God who hath ordered the king who hath ordered the kingdom both unto us and to our progenitors in the most excellent manner wherefore we shall do well not to put in execution the letters sent unto you by Amon, the son of Amadatha. For he that was the worker of these things is hanged at the gates of Susa with all his family. Yahweh, who ruleth all things speedily, rendering vengeance to him according to his deserts. Therefore, ye shall publish the copy of this letter in all places, that the Jews may be freely live, it's lucky, that the Jews may freely live after their own laws, and ye shall aid them, that even the same day, being the thirteenth day of the twelfth month of Adar, they may be avenged on them, who in the time of their affliction shall set upon them. For Almighty Yahweh by Shimei had turned to joy unto them the day wherein the chosen people should have perished. Ye shall therefore among your solemn feast keep in high holy day with all feasting, that both now and hereafter there may be safety to us in the well-affected Persians, but to those which do conspire against us a memorial of destruction. Therefore every city and country whatsoever which shall not do according to these things shall be destroyed without mercy, with fire and sword, and shall be made not only unpassable for men, but also most hateful to God. Amalekite, which today would be a so-called Jew, an Edomite, so-called white man, all right, came and conspired against us, against our people. Hey, you two 
Hey brother, you're an Israelite. So-called black Hispanics and Native Americans were the Israelites. God's chosen people. You know, so he conspired against us. Just like they conspired against us, man. You look into uh, Planned Parenthood, it's a so-called Jewish woman. You know? And they set up Planned Parenthood to exterminate young Israelite babies that, are, that were still in the womb. So, it's lucky. So, uh, Amen. He uh, conspired against us in the in the Persian uh, captivity. You know, against uh, Mordecai, which Mordecai was a Benjamite, and uh, Esther was set up. You know, to uh, to uh, get in, get in, uh, get the Israelites good in with the king. And Amen was, you know, pretty much the right hand man. Uh, of the king at the time of, of Persia, the king of Elam, per, of the Persians, because they had uh, 172 or 127 provinces at that time. He was trying to demonize Jake, just like Esau today trying to demonize us, you know, and uh, conspired, brought out writings, you know, demonize us, and sure enough, it was found out that the only reason why Esau was doing that was to get the true people out of the way, the holy people out of the way, get in good with the king and then overcome the king. Just like how Esau does today. He sets up a coup in these different countries, slides up in there, wiggles up in there, either either with the uh either by setting up a puppet leader or a crypto Edomite goes in there and establishes and, and has full control over that country, man. Then after he done destroy the country by means of war, he'll send in his contractors and have the people pay tribute to build up what he destroyed. So look, they said, hey man, we found out in writing that these people are righteous. Those are God's, God's chosen people. And these laws such commandments that they, they follow after that they push on the world are, are just. There's a law for everything in these scriptures. Okay, everything that takes place in the world. If you catch somebody stealing, what do you do? If you catch somebody uh, committing murder, what do you do? What does fucking Esau do? Esau puts you in a so-called correction, uh, 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 rehabilitation center, a correction center, and what happens when you're in those places? You become a worse demon than you went in. You know, you go in for murder. Well, going in there, you going in there for, for murder, you're doing a long time. Chances are you're gonna get ticked off. You know you ain't going home anytime soon. What you gonna do? Somebody pisses you off. Somebody does you wrong, you go kill them. You already have that instinct in you. That's why uh, murder is uh, a heavy sin. And it's written up in the Ten Commandments, like thou shalt not commit murder. Because what comes with committing murder is heavy demons, man. You know, they say people that kill somebody, you know, they, they, a lot of times they don't, they don't have no remorse. And they plot and think about doing it again. There was that movie with Woody Harrelson. It was called Natural Born Killers. And they're going all around the country just marking people. Marking people, robbing people. You know, whatever they need, drugs, another vehicle. And eventually they get caught. But when they get caught, when they get caught, they're flying away. They can escape the prison market whoever gets in their way, you know, and that's Esau, that's Esau the so-called white man, a damn murderer, the scriptures say, you know, the scriptures call him the devil, that he was a murderer from the beginning, so, that's what they always want to do is come against us, the brother mentioned it earlier, and we, and we talked about it before, they got Black Lives Matter, 
uh, these different Israelite groups going around with guns at the gun range, going around loading up assault rifles. Okay, it's called an assault rifle because its intent is to kill people. It's not a hunting rifle. It's not bolt action. No, it's meant to let loose, to hit as many people as you can. And you got Israelites out there, or so-called Israelites, making videos, uh, 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 loading up, loading up these assault rifles. And we believe they're paid by Esau. Oh, you got this one dude talking about. He got the shotgun gonna blow brother's brains out. You know, we believe that dude's an agent. What is this question? How you got all that money to fly around him? You know, and that's another thing. That, you know, Esau, Amalek, because Amalek is the head of Esau. They got agents. I was just saying, oh, I was probably agent provocateur. The way you put up your hands up. That's Esau, man. No, Amen was a was a fucking agent, bro. Okay, pretending that he was there for the Persians. He was just trying to find a way to creep up in there. You know what? Yeah, yeah. The scriptures say that. You know, uh, 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 to uh, never trust an enemy. Another one says, uh, uh, pretty much he's only gonna sit by, sit on the side of you, because when, because when he finds a way, he's gonna overthrow you. He saw took us down as a people when he came over here. He took down Gad, Reuben, you know the tribes of the Caribbean. He came to them all crouching, all peaceable. Our people honored him, welcomed him in. He was just looking for a chance to overthrow. You know? Then he took their seat. Oh, oh, he's the he's the Native Americans now. Oh, he's the Israelites now. He calls themselves a Jewish. He took our land in 1948. The full full uh dominion over the earth. 1948, the the, the Belfort Declaration. You know? And for a while, everybody, you know, everybody believed it. We believed it. Oh, we ain't nothing. We're just, we're just niggas and spicks, man. We can't be no Israelites. I remember I had this woman when I was young. I was like six years old or seven years old. Some lady asked me if I was black. I was like, no, I'm Puerto Rican. And she was like, oh, she's like, well, you're black. She's like, did you know that you're a prince? I was looking at this thing. I'm a prince. I'm a prince. I was like, this is, uh, in my mind, I was like, get the fuck away from me. You know, your parents and people teach you not to talk to strangers when you're a kid. Yeah. I'm a prince. Who the fuck am I catching? You know, I'm 67 years old. You know? It's yeah. far-fetched. But look, it's the truth. We are princes, man. Yasharala, Israel. Yasharala in the Hebrew means he is a prince with the power. He's a prince of God. We are princes. You know, things like that happen to us, bro, to, you know, to show us these things, man, to, uh, to uh, increase our faith. You know, when you have a bus, you have a shot. Everything just connects, all the dots. You know, a light bulb was dim here, and then you hear something and it just clicks up again. You know? Something was wrong with the wires. Uh, uh, there was a short. All that gets fixed, you know, through the truth. You know, this is all we have is the truth. You know, the brotherhood, the truth. That's all that matters at the end of the day. You know, because Esau, Esau is plotting and doing things all day to trap us up and how he's going to come at us at the last moments, our final hour. He's already doing all that. He's probably already completed what he, he's already got his case built. But fuck that guy. You know? We have 
Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Who, who pleadeth and justifieth us, man. You know? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai doesn't deliver us from this guy. You know, from this wicked ass demon. He saw the so called white man. And then, uh, 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 you know, the scriptures do mention uh, 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 brothers that ain't brothers. You know? Guys that literally want to see us dead. Guys that say if it was in their power, they would just put us to death. You know? The Lord will deliver us from those guys, too. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, bro. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Everybody hates, look, if you follow Great Millstone, or you're in Great Millstone, man. All of Israel hates you. <laughs> you know? All of Israel hates you, man. But it's all right because they're all part of that fucking hive mind, that damn black conscious community, which is complete madness. You know? They're all part of the new club. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Here it is. You know, you're supposed to be. What was it saying in the scripture? You're supposed to be separate from these people, but you're gonna join hand in hand with this black conscious community. Because you know, all those Israelite groups, they all go on to like Sod and TV. And, you know. All that, all that BS, you know. They go in there and have all these debates. And they go to parties with each other, you know what I mean? They be beaten up. They be have all, all kind of different ideologies coming together, you know what I mean? And what's in that black conscious community? You know, the Egypt, Egypt motherfuckers, Muslims, Israelites. They all, they all, you know, they all deal with each other. You know, it's all about black. And the reason why is because they want they want to put black in a in a group together. You know, they want to put black in a barrel and shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, shooting fish in a barrel. They want to put black in a barrel and just shoot up the barrel, man. That's really what's, what it's about, man. That's why we don't want the label black because look, this brother ain't black. I definitely ain't black. You know, I had somebody on the comments, you know, a few weeks ago or whatever. Said, is that a white guy? You know. And good, man, because, I, I, look, we, we don't want black. We don't want black attached to us, man. You know what I mean? You got certain people that want black attached to them, you know? Why? Because they want to be a part, they want to be in that barrel, man. They prepare, you know, these, these guys, they prepare a table for that troop, bro. We're supposed to be, we're not supposed to be dealing with these people. We're supposed to be different, differentiated, blameless. All right? Separate from, from these different, uh, you know, groups that are over here. You know, making themselves look bad, man. You know, making Israel look bad. All right? You know, everybody's got their faults and everything, but these guys are blatantly just trying to make themselves look like Terry's, bro. You know? They're trying to make themselves look like they have the power to do something destructive. Well, well that makes people that already fear us because they don't understand us. Fear us even more because now we look violent. And then you put us in a in in fucking small group by saying we're the black Hebrew Israelites. Not only does that make us look like we're some racist hate group, yeah. but it's it's very it's a very small like bro. Oh oh, people walk by and they'll think, oh I'm not black. I can't see it. Right. You know? Yeah. But that's not true. This is uh. It's all yeah. It's all to it, it, it's all to try and stifle the truth. You know, to try and, you know, uh, uh, that's what it's all for, man. Because the thing is, is that you're going to have all kinds of groups of people waking up to the truth, man. All kinds of different looking characters that's gonna, that the Lord is going to put the spirit on to believe, man. You know what I mean? And the Lord, hey, best believe they're going to understand. They're going to believe, bro. They're going to wake up. You know what I mean? No matter what Esau tries to do, no matter how he labels us, or what he tries to make us out to look like, criminals and, and, and terries and fucking, you know, every evil thing under the sun. Hey, but, but at the end of the day, we're just some regular dudes, bro. Like, we are just some regular Joes out here, bro. Literally, man. Like, we go to work, you know what I'm saying? We get a check. We, we do our best to take care of ourselves. If we have families, we do our best to take care of our families. We do our best to keep the laws, to, to be honest, you know, to uh, not, you know, uh, do, th do things that's off or, you know, rub people the wrong. Hey, we try to coexist the best that we can, bro, in this society, man. Honestly, man. We try not to fucking, uh, you know, make waves. All that 
type of stuff, bro. You know, we try to be respectful, all all that stuff, man. You know, when we present ourselves in society, man, we try to present ourselves respectfully. You know, humbly. All these different things. We're 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 really friendly. We're, I, hey, man, we're really friendly guys, man. You know what I mean? If you hung out with us, you'd have a good time, man. You know, you'd be like, dang, these guys, these are these nice guys, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Esau are gonna gonna want to portray us as all kind of bullshit, man. But then you got certain people out there that's, that once that that's pushing that image, man. That, that, that push, hey, that fucking asshole you call was one of them, man. That would push that image, bro. That violent fucking, you know, he was always talking about violent homosexuals. I ain't gonna call him a homosexual, but that was a violent fucking guy, man. That dude was violent, controversial, hateful, always trying to start shit with somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a fucking angry, violent, evil dude, man. Yeah, yeah, the spirit he saw. Seriously, bro. Straight up, man. You know, that guy was violent, bro. Hey, bro, check this out. This is uh, Jeremiah 12 and 8. Mine heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It crieth out against me. Therefore have I hated it. And that's the way he was, man. That's the way I, I, I can't say it. No, that's the way he is. He's like a fucking lion, bro. And when you look at a lion in the forest, especially a young lion, anything it sees, it, it's, it's fierce upon. Yeah. That's what Jake was, man. You know when he's talking about right here in Jeremiah? Jake was wicked as all hell. Doing whatever the fuck they want to do. That's why the Lord said, look, that's why I hated it, man. I hated some of my some of my own people, man. You know? Because it's like a lion just attacking, destroying whatever the fuck it can. Not honoring anything. And that's what you call this, man. Bro, like all these brothers doing videos about him. You can't you can't say oh they're they're lying. A brother actually has you on video. Your own voice talking about you 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 want to kill brothers, man. You know? I remember one time I was telling these brothers, the brother was there, he, he, he remembers. We we're walking the camp, and this man literally like shoved me like hella hard. And I'm a big dude, I'm not gonna say oh you know, uh, you know, I'm a pussy, you know, I'm a big, I was bigger back then too, you know, and uh, it didn't really hurt, but it was like, there was a force to it, and it was like, why the fuck did you do that? Like, it was intentional, and it was with force. All look alive, bro. All look alive. You know, push you, shove you. And that wasn't the first time he did that shit to me, man. And it kind of gets you thinking, like, like, something wrong with me? Like, am I off? Is this how brothers are supposed to conduct themselves? Well, yeah, I mean, is that the spirit, bro? You could be, you could be chilling, bro, doing nothing, and he'll start talking about you like, he's, like you wicked, bro. Like, oh, yeah, you start bringing out scriptures, like, oh yeah, you know, you know, uh, uh, don't be in your mind. Why are you in your mind right now? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm, you know, brothers over here just chilling or whatever, you know. That guy, was, that guy, that guy, hey man, he was, uh, I ain't gonna keep going into it, bro. But that, but, you know, just because we're bringing out the case that, hey man, there, there's, there's men that are just doing the wrong thing, man. Just doing the wrong thing, bro. And we all do the wrong thing sometimes, man, but shit, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, when that's you, the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, when you consistently just fucking being a demon, bro, that's a different story. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, there's gonna, there's gonna be, and then more of them are gonna pop up. Oh, yeah. It's just the cool thing about it is that, you know, Jake seen it so many times that we're able to recognize it. So, you know, the, Jake, the spirit just getting better and better. It's the example. Yeah, yeah, you just getting examples after examples. And you see like, oh shoot, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, just, you know, you how not to be. How not to be. How not to be, you know? And then when you see it, you nip it. You nip it at the butt. You 
know, you don't let brothers treat you in that way. You know, your brother tells you he's gonna kill you, like, <laughs> this is Jude 1 and 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, because the grace is what? It's supposed to be for us to uh, do better, man. You know, we're supposed to be peaceful. We're supposed to be wise, man. Conduct ourselves with wisdom. And, and this is it's a learning process, man. You know, it's a refining process. That's why, that's why this, you know, you have certain characters been in the truth for 10, 15 years before they finally get, you know, yeah, yeah, you know? Because this, this whole thing is a process, man. The Lord works, you know, at his own pace. You know, we're not on our own time, man. We're on the Lord's time, man. That's why you gotta stick it out. That's why I say he that endured to the end, bro. Cause you really got, you gotta just stick it out, man. You know? And we don't even know, hey, personally, hey, you know, we don't even know the half of this, you know? The stuff that that guy was doing. You know, we we only seen a fraction of it. There's brothers that got it much, that they got it horrifically, man. That, you know, it's like, damn, bro. You know, I, 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 like, I, you know, you can only have an idea of what they went through with that shit, man. When the bones and sad, they said, you know, he left the, he left the sword taste in the mouth. The tree. That's how heavy. And we met, we, we met those brothers before. Because this fucking nigga, being the damn serpent he is, brought him all the way to Fresno. And we were out there doing the work with Isaac and Wolf. No. And, and you know what? When that happened, we all counted him as a brother still. We saluted him. You know. We we didn't we didn't say nothing bad about him. You know, we thought, like, the fuck, I didn't know who we were. What the fuck you even come over? Yeah, here? why would you why do you just like why would you even come over, you know? And we met those brothers personally and when they passed by. We could tell it was all that motherfucker's doing, bro. Because when they passed by, they were hella humble. Like, they looked, they looked off in the spirit, like, like, why are we doing this? You can see in the Iskarite brothers, it's not if, if he if he's Iskar or not. But the Northern Kingdom brother, when he's walking by, I can see in his face, like, like they weren't there for tension or anything. But him, he was proud as fuck, walking by, you know, you know, thought he was gonna get embraced, right? You know, and Which it was like, it was like, no, bro, what do you mean, like? Well, brother needs embraced, like we're gonna bow down to him, throw a fucking red carpet for him. Right, right. No, we embraced him as a brother. We should salute him. You know, but we we understood to to keep a keen eye from that demon, man. Because the brothers warned warned us after he came, they, he got kicked out of the big camp, not to fuck with him, you know. And before, you know, we don't want to think badly about you, but you know what? Hey, bro, it is what it is. You're a damn demon. You're a nigga. But there's certain men that are crippling on the wares, and it turns out you're one of them. You know crept into this truth, unaware of the judgment that you're about to receive, you know, and we're, we're, we're actually following after you, how about Shimmy, I was shy, to where anybody that comes in and is, seems sincere, we're not going to have a, a, a evil thought towards you or a doubt in our mind that you're in here for some other reason, but when you start showing these you know, different motives, different intentions, different thoughts, and we, we never learned. Well, it makes sense, man. You could be an agent or just a damn demon. At the end of the day, you're just not a brother. You're not a member of the elect. Because a brother wouldn't do that, man. You know? A brother wouldn't do that to you, man. 
fucking threatened to blow your head off with a shotgun. That's crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. You know? Well, that's the beware of wolves, wolves in sheep clothing, bro. Cause man, that is a threatening wolf right there. Right. That man is threatening. Right. And you look at the wolf in sheep's clothing when you watch the Wiley Dodi. You know, you just eat up the wolf, you know, the, the sheep. <laughs> just so we can go and eat the fucking sheep, bro. Yeah, the Wiley Coyote. The Wiley Coyote. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Hey, man. That's crazy. A, a coyote is like a type of wolf. What's up, man? What's up, man? I passed by, it's my third time passing, so I'm going to stop. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, all yeah. Good. What y'all chopping it up about? I know y'all talking about the Lord, but what y'all chopping it up about? I'm talking about disingenuous brethren, man. Talking about certain 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 men, they call themselves brothers that are doing contrary to the scriptures, contrary to what brothers are supposed to be doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right? And just because there's certain things going on, or certain goings on that have happened in you know the situations, but you know as the scriptures talking about the scriptures talking about people that crept crept in unaware. Yeah. Men that crept in, have you heard that scripture? Yeah. Men that crept in unaware, you know, they have other intentions, you know. And there's a lot of them out there. You got camp, you got whole camps that, you know, sell brothers for merchandise, man. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. You know, in order to be part of the group, you got to buy, you got to buy garments from us. You know, you got to buy breakdowns. You got to, yeah, it's just all kind of crazy well, shit. Well, hold on. They, they have, they have, like, where you, you have to buy precepts of scripture? Right. Breakdown? Yeah, you, there's you actually, serious? there's, yeah, there's people, there's men out there. I've got that for free. Of course. <laughs> well, that's why we're, that's why we're out here, is, you know. But you have, you have certain men that sell the truth for merchandise. Basically, they're selling out the Lord. Oh, yeah, I know Israel United in Christ. Yeah, I know about that. They wear the purple garments. Yeah. They sell. They sell garments. They sell the breakdowns. I remember before when I first like started discovering the truth, you go to their website, they want your uh, like your social security number. They want bank accounts, check stubs. And I'm like, if you're a man of the Lord, why do you need all this from me? Yeah, yeah. yeah check this out. This is Matthew 10 and 8. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. That's, a, that's, a spirit. that's what you're supposed to do, you know? Freely have you received, freely you give. Last time, oh, we, last time you talk, we talked to you, you said you didn't believe in the sign, right? No, not really. So, what, what do you believe in? Who are the Israelites? Blacks. Blacks? So called blacks. So, why would you call us brothers? Do you call us brothers? Do you consider us brothers? We're not black, bro. I know, I know you're not. Why would you even stop by and listen at all? I like, mean, anybody preach the word, you feel me? I'm, just because I don't believe in the 12 tribes, right, doesn't mean I can't stop and listen to what y'all brothers talk about. But just because I don't agree with this, doesn't mean we don't 